Hello guys, and welcome back to the channel. Now today, um, or rather this session, I was sent out a setup to use, uh, a challenge set by the guys over at Shakespeare um, to catch some barbel, or try and catch some barbel, um, on their Challenge XT barbel feeder setup. Now what this setup is, it's a complete setup they sell. It all comes in one big box. Uh, so it comes with a rod, the reel, the line that is on the reel, and it comes with uh, bits and bogs to be able to make your rigs up and to, just to be able to basically fish straight from the box and catch fish. And uh, like I say, they've challenged me to try and catch some barbel on this setup today. Um, I'm gonna fish my local little river. Now I know it like the back of my hand, uh, so I do know where these fish tend to hold out, but I'm gonna start off in a swim that I've not fished for a few years. So I'm gonna head there now. Uh, we're gonna fish that swim first, and then we've got another swim lined up, and fingers crossed, catch some quality barbel on this setup. I'll go for the setup in a second and then we'll get on with the fishing. The reel is loaded with, it doesn't say, but I'm going to assume it's around about 10 pound line, eight or 10 pound lines. It's absolutely perfect for this. Um, even on this small little river, it's absolutely perfect. And then down to the terminal end. Now the kit did come with a box, which has all the bits and bobs to be able to make your rigs. It comes with some braided hook lens, um, some big leads and a big feeder. Uh, so it comes with like a two or three ounce lead, uh, like a big uh, 40 odd gram feeder, which I don't really need to use on this river because it's so low clear uh, so what I'm gonna do is the hook length I've tied on is a two foot hook length of eight pound clear mono or two and a half foot clear pa uh, clear mono eight pound and then going down to going down to a size 10 hook with an eight mil pellet banded on and I'm only fishing a three quarter of an ounce lead because it's so clear and so shallow it's only about a foot and a half two foot deep in some of the swimmers I'll be fishing and then just stopped by a buffer bead. Completely free running. Basically the same rig I use every time I come to this river. Let's crack on with the fishing. Fingers crossed we can get a few fish on the bank. Get some pellets out. Get this swim fed. Hopefully start attracting some fish in. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're in. We're in. It's a barbel. It's a barbel. What a take. <laughs> Keeping the rod low. So it don't go underneath the, the reeds and stuff. Oh, I can feel it going in the snag. <laughs> so much fun, aren't they, Barbel? They just never stop. And I've only been fishing maybe 10 minutes. The line's been in the water. Possibly not even that. Setup's coping really well with those big Barbel head shakes. I'm hoping I've got enough power here to be able to almost bully these fish away from the snags. And into my net. There we go, he's coming now. Yep, he's not far away. He's just underneath the reeds. Look at the bend in that rod. There we go, he's right in front of me. Oh, he's just stuck underneath the reed. There we go, we got him. It's a nice fish too. We got it, he's in the net. We got a barbel. 
challenge complete and very very quickly it's a beautiful fish too look at that beautiful golden barbel prince of the river and there we go with the hook right in the corner of his mouth there we go right let's get him well rested we'll take a look at him Beautiful fish. I've got the scale ready. I'm going to give it a quick weigh just for the purposes of this video. Nope, bigger than I thought. <laughs> Six pound four, so a proper solid quality fish. There we have it. Beautiful, pristine river barbel. Absolutely perfect quality, probably one of the nicest barbel I've ever caught. Put up such a good fight as well in the flow. Tried to get under all the snags, but I managed to get the better of him and glide him into the net in a swim I've not fished in a few years. It's absolutely awesome. Let's get him back. The sun has got right up, it's really, really bright. This swim has produced no more fish. It's gone really quiet. I've spent another, probably another half an hour, 45 minutes feeding the swim, freelining a bait down the swim, rolling it down, absolutely nothing. Not seen a single sign of a fish, uh, which is a shame because there was a few there feeding when I started. Let's find the next swim, hopefully we can get one out of that, and then maybe try a third swim if we've got time as well. Time to put some bait in. This is a swim I have fished so far this year. Put it a couple of times. But the fish I know are really spooky in this area now, nowadays. Oh, there's a couple of fish feeding down there still. Get a few more pellets out. Right, get them to shift off. There we go. Absolutely spot on. I'm getting a fish. It'll be fairly quickly. There we go, there we go. There we go, we're in, we're in. Look at that. Look at that rod bend. We've got a fish on. God, he's peeling drag. Let's get some line back on this fish. It's the second take I've had within about 20 minutes. I had one big bang around on the rod tip that I think was definitely a fish on the hook, but he managed to shake it before I grabbed it. This fish has gone so far downstream, it's unreal. Look at that bend. We're gradually, gradually gaining on it. Gonna have to pull her at a different angle. He's gone right underneath some reeds on the opposite bank. This feels like a good fish. Definitely bigger than six pounds in that first one. It's a really hard fighting barbel. It's right downstream. Probably about 20, 25 yards downstream. Maybe a bit further than that, maybe 30 yards. We've almost got him. He's a nice fish. We've almost got him. Oh, we got him. We got him. He's a beautiful barbel. Yeah, real nice size. We're definitely going to weigh this one. This one could be a, 
an eight or nine, getting well rested. Hopefully he didn't swim away. Oh. There we have it. Beautiful, pristine, nearly eight pound barbel from the shallow little clear river on that new setup. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. But such a good fight, I've had it resting quite a lot. So I'll rest it again for another 10 minutes and then we'll let it go. Awesome fish. Yep, there we go, there we go. What a hit. A proper bang then. Oh, it's a chub. It's a nice size chub. I thought it was a weird barbel take. It is a good size chub. Obviously, definitely don't put up the same sort of fight as a barbel does. There we go. I'll take that. Oh, he's weird. He's, uh, he feels quite light. He's really hollow. He's a good size, though. See the pellet there on the corner of his mouth? Awesome. Only just hooked. Ever so lightly, look. Right on the front of his lip. There we go. Give him a rest, and we'll take a little look at him. So, beautiful looking fish. Probably a fish of about four pound or so <laughs> see what i mean loads of fighting him an awesome fish just caught on that eight mil pellet again on the bottom three quarters of an ounce lead and easily tamed and a beautiful fish let's get him back <laughs> i've got my rod packed up it packs down to three pieces, so it's nice and compact. I'm going to go home now, get myself some lunch, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out the products in the description below. And I'll also leave links to my um, social medias down there as well, so you can check that out as well. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys later.